Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. All right, YouTube. Well, as you can see, my next project here is putting a dual alternator setup on the Hummer H2. So I got this kit here from Blue Ghost Alternator Brackets. And it looks like a pretty uh, high quality, heavy duty bracket. So far, I can say that I'm pleased. Came with a belt, pulley, all the bolts necessary, ran me about 200 bucks. And I got the alternator there. This is a aftermarket, actually, sorry, a OEM rebuilt alternator. Uh, it's supposed to be 170 amp. What's gonna happen is this is going to be running my vehicle electrical system. I'm gonna do a dual electrical system setup. So my two alternators are gonna be ran on separate electrical systems. This one's gonna be running my vehicle and then my Mechman Elite 370, that's gonna be dedicated um, solely for my car audio build. So that way I don't put a uh, strain on either system and they're both independently ran. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, so coming under the hood here, as you can see, there's that one Mechman Elite 370. I'm gonna be putting a bracket right down there and the second alternator will be installed right there again. Um, right now I got that charging my stock battery and running back to my uh, lithium battery, but that's gonna change. I'm gonna run this directly to my lithium in the back and then my uh, OEM modified alternator is gonna be just strictly for my stock electrical system. So let's go ahead and uh, get this rolling. And we're gonna start by removing the intake. Got a little clamp there and one over there. That way we have easier access to the tensioner right back there. But as you can see with the intake out of the way, easy access to the tensioner right there to go ahead and get the belt removed thing here so make sure that your vehicle does have the belt routing guide there so you know how to put the belt back on and if it doesn't just make sure you uh, sketch it out to make sure that you put it on the right way last thing you want to do is get the job done and put the belt on wrong and uh, yeah you'll be having some problems uh, that bolt there for the tensioner is a 5 8 so what you do is you just stick it on there lift it up and as you can see it releases tension I like to slide it off the uh, idler pulley instead of trying to pull it off over there so I just release tension and slide it off the pulley, and then that relieves tension on the entire belt. And I got the pulley on, and it does mount up to those three bolts down there. Uh, one of them's kind of hard to see. Let me get this out of the way. So you're going to remove that one, that one, and that one. And then that aligns up with those three holes, okay? And then once you do that, as you can see, it puts the second alternator just to the, to the right of your other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this put on there. And those three bolts are a 15 millimeter socket. These are the three that are gonna replace it once I get the bracket in. Let's go ahead and put it on. Tip here, before you install the bracket and the alternator, I would go ahead and check your power steering fluid just because it's in a terrible spot with a second alternator. Uh, not that it's impossible to check, but it's gonna be a lot harder. So I'd go ahead and check it. If it needs topped off, go ahead. And then I'd go ahead and get the bracket and, and uh, alternator installed. All right, and if you do get the same kit, the bolts that they included, take a uh, 17 millimeter socket. There she is, fully installed there. As you can see, the alternator is gonna make getting that power steering fluid pretty difficult. But uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Definitely sturdy. Looking forward to go ahead and get that second alternator put on there. All right, so I got everything wired up here. I got my 370 that is connected to ground. And then I got the ground connected to a distribution block, one going to the back uh, of my lithium and then the other ground going to a frame. So it should be pretty well grounded. Um, so it is sharing a common ground, which the entire vehicle does anyway. And then you have your distribution block for the Elite 370 going to my fuse panel, going back to the lithium bank. And as you can see, it's completely isolated from my front electrical system as no charging wires are going to the front battery. I do have my front battery connected to my stock alternator. And then the stock alternator is obviously grounded to the engine block. So that is my setup. And I'm uh, gonna go ahead and get the belt on, which should be interesting. And then uh, fire her up and see how it works. All right, as far as the wiring with the harness goes, um, this might help some people out. So the uh, factory plug harness I got an extension there so that it can actually reach into the 
uh, factory alternator. You don't have to do that. You could squeeze it, but I didn't want to put a lot of tension on the wire and I didn't want to rewire it. So I got an extension there from Mechman and I uh, plugged right into here. And then uh, this came with this single wire, uh, 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 standard GM oval plug, but only one wire and that connects to your 12 volt plus ignition source. That's the only wire that you need to connect to this one to uh, activate it and turn it on. So anyway, that's the install, that's the setup. And let me get the belt on and uh, get her going. Okay, so after a little bit of pain, anguish, and grief, got the belt routed. I'm gonna go ahead and put the intake back on, fire it up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, there it is. Set up, running properly. Got the stock alternator uh, charging my uh, truck's electrical system at about 14 and a half volts. And I got my Mechman Elite 370 uh, charging up my lithium at about 14.8 volts. So two complete electrical systems uh, running in harmony to give me the result that I'm looking for. Awesome. If this find it value to you, please uh, make sure to subscribe and like my channel and turn on them notifications. Let's get loud.